what does an autism meltdown look like in toddler and kids? An autism meltdown in a toddler and a young child can often be confused with a tantrum. Why is that? Because people at this stage in life are growing and haven't learned how to process their feelings or have the right words to explain what they're feeling. And there is social acceptance for a child to show their frustration by yelling, hitting, biting, running away, maybe even throwing themselves on the floor, crying, just being generally really upset. When a person is young, it might be more difficult to differentiate between an autism meltdown and a tantrum. That's when it becomes really important to understand what happened before the meltdown. In particular, you want to look at these potential triggers, sensory overload, which is things like noise, light, smell, physical triggers, such as food allergies, sleep problems, GI problems, nutrient deficiencies, any type of infection. So we're talking about gut infection, urinary tract infection, any type of bug bites, etc. Then there's also emotional triggers, things like frustration, disappointment, feeling disregarded, anger, boredom, so many of those emotions. These emotional triggers are what overlap the most with a tantrum. An adult talking negative about them in front of them is also a big trigger for autism meltdowns. Hi. I'm Dr. Teresa Lyons. I teach parents the cutting edge science of autism so that you can make the best decision for your child based on quality information. The answer to the question, what does an autism meltdown look like in a toddler and young child? It is many times an autism meltdown looks like a toddler tantrum until the triggers are identified and understood. Triggers are what will help you distinguish between a meltdown and a tantrum. They're very, very different and important to understand. The unfortunate aspect to meltdowns when your child is a toddler is that many people are not understanding of the situation and might actually say things about your parenting skills. They probably can't distinguish between an autism meltdown and a tantrum. And since they can look very similar, an outside person will say things like, you need to discipline your child more or things like I'd never let my child do that. This is when parents start to lose confidence. Analyze your child's triggers. Ask yourself what happened in the 15 minutes before the meltdown. Know the triggers and then work to overcome them either with communication or a functional medicine doctor to help to resolve the health root causes. You are a great parent. Autism meltdowns are not easy for anyone, for the person with autism, for the parents, for anyone watching. It's a very difficult situation. The more you understand the triggers, the more you can have a handle on this and enjoy life. Please check out my channel because I have other videos that talk about the six stages of an autism meltdown. That's really important to understand those six stages how long they last, how to manage meltdowns, and so much more. If you found this video to be helpful, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to get the cutting edge scientific information about autism so that you can make the best decision for your child based on quality information.